Pretty girl. Despite gray skies, families didn't let that stop them from ending Mardi Gras of Southeast Texas with a bang. We got here at 12 when they opened. Beaumont resident Ernesto Adame and his daughter Mia Bella say it's their first time here and it didn't take long for them to experience what draws in thousands of people each year. Probably the music and stuff for me and stuff because I love hearing authentic music and everything else. Probably the Rudy's kebabs. Can You know they're always going to be good. From the live music to the nine parades and the 40 food vendors, officials say Mardi Gras has it all. We're just tickled pink. It's been a long, hard week, but it's all worth it. Tim Romero, chairman of Mardi Gras of Southeast Texas, has been working with the event since it started 33 years ago. I've been a vendor uh, and, you know, I've just been a volunteer and now I... I'm on the board. He says each year he and other board members discuss how to make things bigger and better than ever. We made a few changes which I think really enhanced it, putting our food vendors on both sides of Magnolia here. Romero says while most enjoy the food, he enjoys seeing families have a great time. I love this outfit this young man's wearing. That's the spirit of Mardi Gras. For Adame, it means quality time with Mia Bella. That means everything. Uh, making memories and uh, in a safe environment, you know, that's what it's about. Adame says he and his daughter are excited for next year's Mardi Gras of Southeast Texas, which Romero says he'll start planning for as soon as tomorrow. Ebony Coleman, 12 News.